what's up? My name's Sonali. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a very interesting video today. I'm actually going to be doing a tutorial with makeup I don't use anymore. This is like a gallon bag and before this tutorial it was filled up to here. So I was thinking I should do a tutorial and kind of go through the products and explain why I don't use them anymore and maybe rediscover some products. Some of this I will be keeping, some of this I will be throwing away, and most of it I will be giving away to my mom and my sister. So get ready mommy and Nisha. Makeup is coming your way. I'm actually really impressed with this look that I pulled together. I think it looks so awesome. So if you guys want to find out some of the products that I used to use, then keep on watching. Okay, so first off, I need to find a primer in this big mess of mine that I have right here. I actually just found this in one of my drawers. It's the MAC Oil Control Lotion. I'm not sure if it's a primer. I'm not even sure if it even has product in it anymore. Because this was not mine, it just found it in my drawer, but I guess it's empty, so can't use that. I was going to try that out, but okay, so the primer I used to love and use all the time is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. This is actually a full tube, so I might actually transfer it over to my um, everyday makeup bag because I'm running out of primer. So I'm just going to put that all over my face. And as I take out these products, I'm going to explain to you guys why I stopped using it. So for this primer, I actually just got newer ones like from PR packages like the Elizabeth Arden one I used a lot and then there was a Smashbox one that I got sent. So that's why I stopped using this one because, because for me, I would tend to go for a drugstore primer just because I feel like all the primers are like kind of the same. I also already did my eyebrows and you guys know that I'm growing them out over the summer so please don't make fun of me. They're so like crazy and I have to like draw them on thick so it like covers up like the hairs you know what I mean I don't even know what I'm doing with my eyebrows and I need to go back to Orlando so I can go to my one lady she just knows my eyebrows and she gets me so I'm just waiting a couple more weeks and hopefully they'll be all good okie dokie so let's get into foundations I actually have a lot of foundations I don't use anymore so I'm going to share them all with you guys and explain like why I didn't like them I think one of the first foundations I got was actually the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I, I just remember using this like in the early, early days. Um, and I just stopped using this because sometimes I just get sick of foundations and I just want to try something new. So there wasn't really a big problem with this. And I actually just got an updated color and I'm pretty sure this foundation was pretty affordable. I thought it was like 40 or something like that, but I think it's like 25, which is not bad. You guys know I love my Ultra HD foundation stick, but this past week I actually did use this foundation in the other color that I just got and everyone was complimenting how matte my face was and I actually didn't even put powder all over my face. So I really do enjoy this foundation when I'm going for that full coverage, full glam look. I love it. Next up is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. If you guys have been following my videos for a while now, you guys may remember this in videos. And for this one, I just felt like it was a little bit too orange. And again, I was kind of bored with this foundation and I wanted to get a new one and try something different out. As you grow up, you kind of learn more about foundations and what colors you should get and usually I went to the Sephora people to ask them to match my skin to any foundation that they had and it would just always turn out to be really orange and so what I figured out over the years is that I have a yellow undertone and it just looks a lot better if I do get foundation with a yellow undertone in it and it doesn't oxidize or anything like that so now my newer foundations don't make me look orange which is Definitely a plus. So when you are trying to shop for a new foundation, definitely figure out what your undertone is before you buy a foundation. Next is my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I used to love this so much and it's a really good foundation. But again, this one made me really, really orange and I'm just not orange. Um, so that was like the only bad thing about it, but I would totally get this in my color today because it was a really good foundation Next is the Maybelline fit me This was definitely one of those foundations that I tried out when I was getting into foundation Of course I bought a color that was like not even my shade or I might have tried to buy this for cream contouring I don't know what I was thinking, but this is not gonna fit my face. So that's probably why I don't use this anymore. I also found this one in my drawer. This one is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation. I think my mom used to use this and sometimes she would do like makeup at my vanity. So that was probably why I was in there. And I'm kind of tempted to try this one out because I love Makeup Forever Foundation Stick. So, you know, I feel like I would love this one. I'm gonna see if it actually is my color. 
I think this foundation will work. I haven't used this before, but it was in my makeup I don't use anymore bag, so we're just gonna sneak it in. Okay, let's see how this is. This is in the color Y425, and in the stick foundation, I'm Y445, I'm pretty sure. So this might be a little bit lighter than my stick foundation, but I'd rather go lighter than orange, so we're just gonna stick to this one. So next, I actually have two concealers. This one is the Napoleon Per D Mighty Concealer Pen. It just seems like a brightening pen because it's so yellow and like, I don't know, I just wouldn't really use it under my eyes. It would probably cause a lot of bad flashback now that I'm like thinking about it. I remember using this and I don't even want to see pictures because if I try to blend it out on my hand, it is like literally so yellow. Like look at that under my eyes. I don't even know what I was thinking. So we're not going to use that, <laughs> but we will use this one. Of course, it is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. So I have this in the color 320 Honey, and I personally probably could have gotten a little bit of a yellower color because I do rarely reach for this, but it's not the yellow undertone that I like, but we're going to use it anyways. And I don't really know why I got like the big sponge. I guess I didn't really know that they actually had like concealer ones. I'm pretty sure this is like a foundation actually but I've always used it as concealer it's kind of gross when I put it on because it kind of makes my foundation come up and I hate when that happens it's like it looks really gross I put some down my nose some on my chin Next up, I'm going to set a little bit of my face. So I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier powder. I used to love this stuff, like I recommended it to everyone, but I just found cheaper options, honestly. This is still really great, especially for that first buy, but when you're going to refill it, you're just like, should I actually spend all that much money just to get another one or should I try something different? I do reach for this powder sometimes, but usually I'll use my Derma Blend. I'm also going to go ahead and set my eyelids to make a nice base for the eyeshadow. I'm going to go ahead and wipe it all off. I don't really want to bake today. I haven't really been doing that lately anyways. Just been setting my face. So I'm going to do my weird order and go into eyes. Can you guys guess what I'm about to pull up? Like, I think it's very obvious, but it is the Naked 2 palette. I have not touched this thing since like high school, like early, early high school. I really, I honestly think Urban Decay is a really, really good brand. Obviously like they're amazing, but the older Naked palettes are so overrated. Like I used to be obsessed with this thing and looking at it, I'm just like, ew, like no wonder why my looks were like gross and like bad, I don't know. Well, also I didn't really know how to apply eyeshadow, but you know, this didn't really help because it's like almost all shimmer shades and like literally like two mattes and like when you're a beginner you really need to go for the mattes because you can easily look tacky when you apply shimmer shadows we're gonna try this out again and maybe since i'm like better at makeup it'll be better but i'm just like a lover of mattes and browns and anything like that and this palette is straight up cool tones so like no wonder like this explains everything in my high school years i don't know this palette is just so not me anymore. Maybe like the heat palette would be better for me. So of course I'm going to go in with the matte color, which is Tease. Would it be cheating if I only used this color? I just like don't love the other ones. I remember using this all the time. This is YDK, so we're gonna go in with that on our lid. This is straight up high school like makeup. Obviously not now because those girls go to school with like modern renaissance like smoky eyes. I didn't have that back in my day, okay? I had to use this. This was literally what I did. I can't even. And I probably put shimmers in my crease too. It doesn't really look half bad, but it's just not something I would do in this moment of my life. 
Then I'm going to take busted and put it in my outer corner. Nah, I did not like that, but I guess we're just going to have to do it to the other eye too. This is how the eyeshadow turned out. I'm not really loving it, to be honest. It really reminds me of high school and makes me kind of want to barf, so. Definitely giving this one away. Probably not to my family, though, because I don't want them to have to suffer. Not trying to diss anyone that has this palette and loves it because it probably just looks better on them. Maybe it's just my skin tone or something. Just don't really like it. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using this one. It is the Essence Thick and Thin 2-in-1 Eyeliner Pen. And this was actually a really, really awesome eyeliner. It's felt tip on both sides, and I usually just use the thin one. I don't use this one anymore because usually I don't even wear eyeliner, but when I do, I just use my Kat Von D Tattoo or actually my NYX Liquid Liner. I think that's what I use. I'm not a huge fan of the felt tip brushes anyways. For mascara, I'm going to be using these three. The first set is from Physicians Formula, and it's like the lash extension, so this is like the actual mascara, and this is like the fibers that you put on your eyelashes. If you get like one of these fibers in your eyes, it is so uncomfortable, so I'm probably not going to be using the fiber part. I'm just going to be using the mascara part from this. And the other one is this Voluminous Butterfly from L'Oreal. I used to love this. It doesn't really give you volume, but it does separate your lashes really, really well. So now that I'm done with the eyes, we can move on to finishing our face, and I'm going to contour next. And I have not used this in a while. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer. It's in the color Dark Cocoa, and I honestly do think it is a little bit dark for me, but you know what? We're going to YOLO because this was my old makeup, so might as well try it out. I always remember putting way too much on my face, so I'm going to try to keep it as light as possible because it is really pigmented so you can blend it out. I'm kind of hoping this one works out for me so I can add it back into my everyday makeup routine. So I didn't do anything too crazy, but I know it's going to blend out a little bit crazy. It looks like it's blending out in my mirror, but I keep looking on my camera monitor and it's like not blended. So really quickly, I'm just gonna try to contour on my nose with the leftover product. It was for sure annoying to blend out just cause it was so creamy and so pigmented. But if you're going for a dramatic contour, like look at this contour, like I like it. Maybe I should blend it out just like a little bit more, but it's kind of hard to see right now. It definitely makes my face look a lot more slim. These are the two bronzers in the bag. This one is from Rimmel London. It is the Sundance color. It just says natural bronzer. And I remember this one being like super, super shimmery. And then this one is from Sephora. It is in the color dark. And I used to love this one. It's like a matte bronzer with a little bit of shimmer. So I'm gonna go in with this one. I stopped using this bronzer just because I got newer ones and I was kind of like over the shimmery bronzer. I just wanted like a really strong contour. So I started buying matte bronzers instead of just like the shimmery ones. But if you're going for like a summer glow, this is really, really pretty. For blush, I have the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blush in Apricot Kiss. Recently, I've been using the same product, just in a different color. I think it's like Soft Sun, but this one's just like a little bit of a lighter color. I think the face is definitely making it up for the eyes, so I'm really, really liking it. The next thing is highlighter, and I think this is probably one of the first highlighters I ever bought. And I was stupid enough to buy the color that everyone else was talking about on YouTube. AKA everyone else that was like white and not my skin color at all. 
So this is the Soft and Gentle by MAC and obviously any skin tone really could wear this but I honestly didn't even know that there was like darker highlighters at the time. I just went for the name that everyone else had kind of thing and pro tip if you do watch beauty videos make sure you get the product in your color. Sometimes I would do that for like concealers or like the MAC paint pot. I think I got like not my color at all. So it's definitely okay to take recommendations but always get your color. I feel dumb for saying that but people might not know it because I didn't know it so so let's go in with the soft and gentle and I think it's actually gonna look pretty good we will see about this it's obviously still a really good highlight I just wish I bought it in a darker color I'm gonna do the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow the only lip product I found in the bag was this urban decay glide on lip pencil in the color manic it's definitely a pop of color I don't know if I'm liking it the lips are kind of a little bit pink for this look but you know we're just gonna roll with it because this is the only lip product that I found in my bag next is finishing sprays so I have two here this is the Shiseido quick fix mist and this one I got from Lush it is the Ooh, Roma water toner water this one kind of sprays out really funky like it'll spray out like really hard and that's not what you want for a finishing spray or a refreshing spray it used to mist out but now like something's wrong with like the spray thing so I'm not gonna use this one because I don't want to like get shot with water in my eye but I will be using this one so let's see how this works This is definitely super refreshing. I remember having like two of these, one in my makeup bag and one in my purse, so I can like spray it on through the day to just be like refreshed. And I don't know why I stopped because this is like really nice. So I think I'm gonna put it back in my purse. <laughs> so this is the finished look and I'm not too mad about it. The eyes could be a lot better, but the face turned out like really, really good. I really like it. I think it looks really fresh. Even though it does have like a pretty heavy contour, I think it looks really summery and healthy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of a random idea that I thought of, but I had to film it. I think it's so fun like looking through your old makeup and seeing like what you loved and what you like maybe didn't like. Comment down below any makeup product that you guys used to use that you either hated or loved. I would love to know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!